Hi everybody, I'm back with another little video. Um, I wanted to let people know how I've been managing the uh, daytime hours uh, while I'm on the lemonade cleanse. Right now, I've been doing the third day and I found that if I take a little bottle of um, lemonade with me while I'm on my walk, plus some um, some water, of course, water. Uh, it really helps, and I don't, you know, I. It's incredible. I'm not at all hungry, and um, what I do sometimes is I could um, make some cold tea. These are some of my favorite teas. I I just love these flavors. I really, I'm really into tea, as you can see, and chamomile is one of my favorites. I have two kinds right here. And I also love licorice. And so, you know, um, I, I try not to overfill on liquids because it, it just makes me thirstier and I don't like drinking a lot of liquids. So, um, what I do is I, I save it for the evening hours, my tea. I can drink it hot or cold. And usually I prefer hot, but sometimes I'll take it cold. And sometimes I do the same thing as I do with my lemonade. I bring it with me while I'm on my walk and I just drink it. I drink it. And um, one of the other things that I wanted to explain was I, I think I know why some people who've done the lemonade cleanse prefer to squeeze their lemons glass by glass. Can you see that? Let's hold it up here. Can you see all that grainy lemon in the bottom? Well, that's been sitting in the fridge for about three days now. And that's what happens. I guess some people don't like drinking it like that. And if you're one of those people, um, you can strain that. You don't have to make it glass by glass. You can strain it. But I, I, it doesn't bother me. I just chug it. I like it like that. And um, I bought another um, <laughs> 20 some odd lemons today so I can continue with my next batch. And um, that's about all for now. I, I just wanted to let you know how I was managing. And uh, a word on the detox tea. It hasn't bothered me or given me any cramps whatsoever. This is peppermint. Let me show you the box. And I never had that flavor before. I always found the regular, and the regular, the regular original flavor really bothered my stomach. It gave me such serious cramps, and I, I don't know if they improved it or what, but it's the same brand, and I think it's the same brand, and um, yes, it is. And I, I was never able to properly do my detox tea because that tea destroyed my stomach. It was too strong, guys. But this one, oh, I love it. it it's so soothing and it's so gentle and mild and the taste is wonderful. So um, if you're ever you're thinking of trying this uh, lemonade cleanse out, uh, rest assured the tea has changed <laughs> so I, I think it's much more gentle now so um, but be sure and ask your doctor or you know the pharmacist or whoever might be able to help you out with the tea because that's important you have to have I think you have to have this specific kind or any um, detox tea. I'm not sure, but I've always only bought this one. Now, in 2015 and in 2016, when I discovered the lemonade cleanse, I, I did it. I did the cleanse um, repeatedly for about six times between 2015 and 20, 2017. Uh, I remember going to Europe in 2015 and 2016 and I did the lemonade cleanse uh, before those uh, trips and um, oh it was hard guys because uh, you know once you get used to the lemons 
Um, you can't really, every time you go and eat something or drink something, you have to make sure that you're really close to a bathroom. And when you're traveling, that's not always possible. Actually, that's never possible. <laughs> so I suffered. I really, really suffered. I was okay when I traveled alone. I could do whatever I wanted. I you know, could leave the hotel whenever I wanted. But when you're with a group, a tour group, you can't do that. <laughs> so I really suffered. I ended up getting a bladder infection because I used to, you know, have to hold everything in until I found a bath, and that was not healthy. I will never repeat that again. I, I don't know. <laughs> I love to travel, but I don't like going through that. So um, that's how I've been managing I, I do drink some cold water in between um, because sometimes that sweet lemon taste really makes you thirsty. But other than that, I've been f managing just fine. I don't go to bed hungry. Um, if, I, if I do ever need something in my mouth, you know that taste, I just have a little of this. And anyway, that's about all I have for now. I just wanted to... Um, you know, let you know these little hacks that I have. Um, and uh, if it weren't for the tea, I think I would still be all right because I'm absolutely not hungry at all. But to tell you the truth, guys, I threw away the eggplant parmigiana because, not because it wasn't good, I threw it away because it was too good. I was afraid that I would be tempted and I couldn't freeze it because of the egg. So, um, <laughs> uh, it all went in the garbage, but um, I wish that I could have had it. I'm going to have to make it again from scratch. What can I say? Anyway, um, I hope you're all having a great evening. And um, I thank you for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.